Oh, for the love of art. Today we're going to be having some talks with Toronto artist Kat C on life as a full-time artist. So this is a collaboration that we did together with Kat. I brought her one of my abstract paintings because I felt it was just missing a little something and she painted something beautiful on top. So stay tuned for the results. In this video, we're going to be exploring the topic of what life is like as a full-time artist, the different types of streams of income you should explore, as well as some beginner advice for artists looking to take this more full time and transition from that nine to five life. Yeah, so what kind of art do you make? So the type of art I make, I make acrylic paintings, well, mostly portraits and uh, let's see, animals, I guess, florals and stuff like that. I'm very illustrative based, so a lot of my acrylic paintings have that general style and design, but um, I also make tattoos as well and that kind of ties into like uh, my illustrated background, like ties into how I tattoo as well. And there's other things that like I need to practice and get better at tattoos to like, you know, really achieve a different style um, that is out of my comfort zone. Murals too, for me are like, I'm still kind of, you know, getting the feel of like, uh, yeah, you're exploring different paint. mediums. So yeah. you kind of almost have to like, yeah, immerse yourself in it and then transfer your skills over to like a whole different thing. Yeah, but yeah, and, but even still, like I'm in my comfort zone for um, murals and like you know spray painting specifically, right? So I feel like even my murals are kind of illustrative based as well. Mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. like I would again love to do more realistic stuff, you know, but it's like oh, it's a new medium. Of me. It's a journey. Yeah, you get it there. is. Yeah. But that goes kind of into my second question, which is what streams of income you've created with art. So you've already kind of touched upon, I guess now starting with tattoos, mm -hmm. you've done murals, you do commissions. So you're already at three. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you do to pull in some income for art? So I use drop shipping services like Redbubble and Society6, like just cause I feel like it's easier for me, you know, to manage like inventory and stuff. Like I don't necessarily have all the space to produce like, you know, a lot of prints and like store like clothes and like uh, totes and all that stuff. Like, I want to give people a way to like buy merchandise for me too, right? So, yeah, for sure. I just feel like I feel less pressure on my end. Like so imagine if you printed like a hundred tote bags yeah. and you like feel that pressure. Like first of all, you gotta store that stuff. There's that well, pressure, I think right? it talks about like more so passive income. It's like yeah. you're trying to find streams of income for yeah. art without really being hands on on every single element. Yeah. Because it's like murals are hands on commissions are hands-on mm -hmm. i know that you do live painting as well so yeah. that's another stream of yours that is like yeah. really hands-on yeah um so you're kind of just trying to also like create streams for yourself and that don't require you to be there right yeah i'm basically a one woman show at this point right yeah and i don't i'd rather focus on like yeah creating the content or like creating art i don't want to focus necessarily on the administrative side of like the art business but uh, like whatever makes my life easier basically yeah exactly So there is a lot of artists that are really trying to go full time with their art and escape this kind of nine to five life. Mm -hmm. So how long did it take you to get to that full time artistry? A while, like for sure. It doesn't happen overnight. That's like a f for sure thing. And it's going to take some time, like obviously a lot of hard work and consistency. You know, you just it's a lot of experimenting. And yeah, it took a while to even realize the, the type of art i like to do it also takes time to get to um a certain level of income from each field too right mm -hmm. it really depends on how you want to make money too right like what, what you want to spend your time on so everything takes time to make that kind of money which also ties into like how i became let's say a full-time artist it took some time for me to realize like oh what do i want to do for a long time to eventually earn enough money in that field so i can do it full-time you know i'm like such a firm believer in like you know putting in the elbow grease and like yeah you know really practicing it because if you're gonna practice something or work on something like every night for example your progress is gonna be definitely faster oh yeah for sure yeah versus like i guess you just kind of do it like once a month or something like yeah. you know and and that's okay too right like sometimes but not if yeah. you're trying to make it your full-time yeah, thing that's, that's how the difference right yeah like between like a hobby between a hobby and, and a career full-time work yeah for sure so there's that So what's your advice for someone trying to go full-time with their art? My advice for someone going to full-time art would be definitely trying like, um, you know, various mediums and, you know, see what you like, experiment a bit. And if you're deciding to want to do this full-time, it's like any other job. You want to make sure it's something you want to do, right? And um, also to like learn the business side 
of uh, things as well. You're a one man, one woman show, and you know you have to be your own boss, your your own employee, worker, your own assistant, your own janitor. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and basically uh, you have to learn to wear multiple hats and stuff. Like especially in the beginning, you know, um, doesn't mean later on that you can like hire like let's say an intern or an assistant. You know, um, but like with everything else, we gotta start somewhere. Yeah, you gotta and, learn yeah. all the elements of it, right? It's mm -hmm. not just yourself. like the creative side. Mm -hmm, definitely, you have to learn everything yourself first. Like train yourself, be open-minded, and don't, don't limit yourself because it, it's all gonna be useful later. Don't just like focus on the technical artistic side of things. Like you're basically working towards that future where like you can run a company yourself. And, mm -hmm. You know. All right. Well, thank you. <laughs>